Notice anything different? Do I sound different? Does anything look different? Hmm. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. If you noticed what was different in the intro, congratulations, you're observant. But if you didn't, it's okay. What you should have noticed is that I got a new microphone. It is the Shure SM7B. A link to it will be down in the description if you're interested in it yourself. But I just wanted to make a small little setup video slash review unboxing thing just to show off the microphone. And then we're also going to do a fun comparison to the Blue Snowball. Now, I've never used this microphone before for streaming or making videos or anything, but it is one of the most popular microphones amongst new streamers and YouTubers and gamers. I see it everywhere. Every single streamer uses one of these at some point, pretty much. It's very popular, and the reason is, is it sounds fantastic, and it goes for only $50 on Amazon. So we're gonna compare this to the Shure SM7B, which is a more higher-end microphone that you see a lot of bigger YouTubers and streamers using. It goes for about $400, and we're gonna compare it to this one. Also, a little fun fact, this microphone is the same microphone that Michael Jackson used to record the Thriller album. The Shure SM7B, look it up, it's true blew my mind when I found out, but let's get into the video. All right, guys, so I've switched to a handheld camera and a new mic set up all together so that we can show you the Shure SM7B here. You're getting a little bit of a sneak peek of my setup tour, but I'm going to keep you nice and tight so you can't see much. So here it is, the Shure SM7B. It is set atop the blue mic arm. This is the Blue Compass mic arm. If you guys want any of this equipment, it'll be down in the description. You can pick it up yourself. The Shure SMB plugs in via XLR. It is an XLR microphone, and the cable runs up this channel right here on the blue compass mic arm to keep it nice and tidy cable managed. But that XLR cable then comes down here into this blue box. This is the cloud lifter. So the Shure SM7B is a very unsensitive microphone clocking in at negative 59 decibels. So this cloud lifter gives me 25 decibels of clean gain. So the mic isn't so quiet when it comes to you guys. And then the other end of the cloud lifter plugs into this interface right here. This is the Focusrite 2i2 interface. You can see it lighting up there as I talk, but the XLR plugs into there and this allows me to take an XLR signal into my computer. And that is pretty much it guys. That is the entire mic setup for my YouTube and streaming. Let's go ahead and get back to the desk and do the microphone tests with the Blue Snowball and the Shure SM7B. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity. This is the Shure SM7B that you're hearing me through. I'm about two inches away from the microphone, talking at a level that is pretty normal for when I am making videos. Once again, this is the Shure SM7B audio test. I hope it sounds delicious. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity. You are now hearing me through the blue snowball. I am about two inches away from the mic and I'm speaking at a volume that is pretty normal for when I'm making videos. Once again, you are hearing an audio test through the blue snowball. Hope it sounds good and uh, yeah. I am now typing on a keyboard behind the Shure SM7B at a normal volume I would if I were gaming. This is once again a keyboard key test through the Shure SM7B. I am now typing on a keyboard behind the blue snowball. This is the volume of my keys usually when I am doing something like gaming. Um, this is the blue snowball's keyboard key pickup test. All right, guys, so there was the audio test. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you thought of both of the microphones. Obviously, to me, I thought the Shure SM7B sounded a bit better, and it probably should for being $350 more. Um, the Shure just sounded a bit more warm and deep and full-bodied, and the, the Blue Snowball was a little bit tinny to me. Um, go back and watch it again if you don't know what I'm talking about and see if you can pick it out. It's very trebly and very tinny, but this is very bassy and warm and just sounds better in this environment. It's a little bit more dead sounding. The keyboard test also favored the Shure SM7B. The keyboard sounds were a little bit louder coming from the Blue Snowball. This makes sense because the Blue Snowball is a condenser microphone and the Shure SM7B is a dynamic microphone. So if you don't know what the difference between a dynamic and a condenser microphone is, there's plenty 
plenty of differences, but the main one that concerns you guys is the dynamic microphone is a bit better for blocking out background noises and better for rooms that are not acoustically treated with paneling and whatnot. A condenser microphone is usually meant for studios to have a acoustically treated room and not a lot of background noise going on. So if you're streaming or making YouTube videos, I'm always going to recommend a dynamic microphone, hence the reason the Shure performed better in the keyboard test. But that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the microphone down in the comments if you thought it was a good upgrade. I definitely do. I love it, and I'm going to continue to play with it all night until I tweak out all the little things to make it sound better for you guys. But make sure to leave a like on the video, guys, and subscribe if you really liked it, and comment down below what you thought of the two microphones. And don't forget to share this video around to your friends on Twitter. You can also follow me on Twitter, at BravityM. But I'll see you guys in the next video with this new amazing microphone. Peace out. Yeah.